Heartland is the beloved Canadian drama about a girl and her love for horses. The show's wonderful plot, filled with plenty of heartwarming and entertaining moments, has made it one of Canada's longest family dramas, with over 200 episodes. But if you've already binged the 14 seasons that have been released so far, the wait for some more can be understandably dreadful. So what else can you watch in the meantime? Here are some of the best shows similar to Heartland that you need to watch. Yellowstone. If you love Heartland's ranch life, family drama, and above all, horses, Yellowstone will be the perfect show for you to watch. The Paramount series revolves around a rancher doing anything he can to protect the ranch he lives and works on. Fair warning though, Yellowstone is more on the grim side as there's much more killing, crime, and overall heavier content. That's not the case with Heartland. However, the atmosphere of the show is much like Heartland and there's plenty of joyous moments for you to be delighted by. Free Rain. It doesn't get more about horses than Free Rain. The three-season show is the adorable story of a 15-year-old American girl, Zoe, who goes to England to spend time at her mother's pastoral town. The show is about Zoe's experiences at the English town, which also happens to have an amazing horse stable. She instantly connects with the horses there, and particularly a grumpy black horse named Raven. The two have a very special bond that is equally cute and iconic, but Zoe also makes other human friends and overall has a great time there. You can watch the show on Netflix. The Ranch. The Ranch is probably the most similar show to Heartland in today's list. The only difference is that Heartland is a heartfelt family drama, while The Ranch is a sitcom. It's based on the lives of the dysfunctional Bennett family. The plot is simple. Two brothers try to help their dad save their ranch from being sold out due to financial problems. The show stars the ever-charming Ashton Kutcher as the younger brother and the quirky Danny Masterson as the older one, with the talented Sam Elliott as their father. The ranch has eight totally light seasons that you can binge just like that. Maybe take your mind off Heartland for a bit. Caitlin's Way. Caitlin's Way is another American-Canadian TV show about a distressed 14-year-old girl switching between foster homes in Philadelphia. In this process, Caitlin ends up at a ranch of one of her distant relatives. She finds a beautiful horse named Bandit there, with whom she forms a connection. The sentimental plot, coupled with the way Lindsay Felton has portrayed the character of Caitlin, will surely remind you of our Amy in Heartland. The setting seems oddly familiar to that of Heartland's, and that's probably because the family ranch is situated near High River, which is the fictional town of Hudson in Heartland. And with with an E. Anne with an E is the amazing adaptation of a classic children's book called Anne of the Green Gables. The Netflix original series follows an orphan named Anne Shirley and her life in the 1800s on Prince Edward Island. She gets accidentally adopted by a pair of siblings who live on the Green Gables farm. The bright young girl has all kinds of wonderful experiences on the farm, and the show ends on the most satisfying note, too. The best part is probably how how the show displays social issues common at the time and tackles them in the most perfect way. These include gender inequality, religion, racism, and freedom of speech. You can easily find the three-season show on Netflix. Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie is a small town must watch. It's a lot like Heartland in more than one way, and that includes the plot of the show. One of the main characters of the show, Zoe Hart, inherits an Alabama medical practice, just like Amy and inherited her ranch. Heart of Dixie is a mix of drama, romance, and much more, and is therefore the perfect show to binge. You can find it on Netflix, and it has a total of four seasons. Heart of Dixie also shares much of the overview of Heartland. The small town setting and family-based plotline means fans of Heartland will most likely love it. Wind Calls the Heart. Wind Calls the Heart has the same country of origin as Heartland. The Canadian show differs in its plot, though, and is centered on the life of a teacher named Elizabeth Thatcher. Elizabeth moves to a small coal mining town away from her big city luxuries and has to adapt to the way of life there. The teacher has an impress all attitude and she tries her best to fit in despite her background. There, she starts her own family and learns to live in a whole different way. Plot wise, Wind Calls the Heart may not be the most similar to Heartland. However, the hidden theme where both Amy of Heartland and Elizabeth of Wind Calls the Heart 
art, learn to live happily with what they have, make them both warm and simple shows to watch. McLeod's Daughters Even though McLeod's Daughters is somewhat heavier than Heartland, it's one of the most successful shows to come out of Australia in recent years. However, the plot and setting will make you forget everything and watch it. McLeod's Daughters is also about family, ranches, and horses. It's about two half-sisters who own and run their family ranch together. Just like Heartland, the ranch has been a part of the family for generations and is now being run by women for the first time ever. The sisters run their ranch with help from several other characters, each of whom is versatile in their own right. It's a well-written, family-friendly show with all the romance, family bond, relationships, fun, and horses you can think of. It's an eight-season show which sees a major structural change after the third season, but continues to be great throughout the eight seasons. And the most exciting part? You can watch the whole thing right on YouTube. A Million Little Things If you watched Heartland for the family bit, A Million Little Things will take you back to those heartwarming feelings. It's about a group of friends who go through collective loss from the death of one of their friends. The show focuses on the way these friends deal with their own grief while providing support to each other. The show is a real tearjerker if you like that sort of thing. The friends all face different events while going through their grief, including romance and much more. A Million Little Things is not about blood relationships like Heartland, but the central theme of being there for your loved ones is very much prominent. Spirit Riding Free Spirit Riding Free is a DreamWorks animation show about a young girl who falls in love with her horse. The 12-year-old Lucky moves from a big city to a small town where she meets her horse, Spirit. If you're thinking an animated show about horses and a girl is not your type of thing, think again. The show is based on the Oscar-nominated film Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, Riding Free. With eight seasons, two specials, and two spin-offs, Spirit Riding Free could be your next bench. Even if you don't watch it yourself, you can recommend it to someone younger because the show is perfect for young kids looking to watch something fun. It's available on Netflix, which means watching it is super convenient too. Everwood Horses have little to do in Everwood, which is more a family show than any other. It's an early 2000s show that started in 2002 and ended in 2000. It's about a family going through a major loss in their lives. This is when the family moves from New York to a small Colorado town and starts a new life there. In the small town, the family has all sorts of experiences as they try to adapt to the small town life and deal with their grief. It's an amazing show with strong performances from all of the actors and an honest and raw depiction of family, loss, relationships, and emotions. The Baker and the Beauty The Baker and the Beauty Beauty is not much about horses and not much about family. What it is about, though, is romance. At the center of the show are a baker and a superstar, and the two fall in love. After spending a magical night together, the two realize how they feel for each other. The sweet rom-com has only one season yet, which came out last year. The season also has only nine episodes, so it won't be hard to get through this one. Plus, you'll probably end up loving it, so why not? This is us. Another family-based addition to today's list is This Is Us. This award-winning show revolves around the beautiful relationships of a family who see love and loss together. It's a beautiful show which has a heart-wrenching storyline and some amazing cast members who've taken things to the next level with their brilliant acting. It has six seasons in total and can be easily benched now that all of the seasons are out. This show will definitely make you shed a tear or two unless you have a heart made of stone. You can stream it on platforms such as Hulu. That was a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching.